Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just wanted to give you guys another update. Uh, it's been about a week or two since I posted. It's been a ton of snow outside, so it's also been like 20 degrees in the garage, so I didn't really feel like doing that much, but uh, the, the Camaro is uh, pretty much back together. Um, as you can see, just a couple updates here. We did one coat of ceramic on uh, this side of the car, so it's actually looking pretty good. Um, Got the center caps back on, waiting for the lug covers to go back on there and we should be good. Uh, you can also see the, uh, the new brakes and new calipers through here. Um, I took all the old tent off the windows and I will never do that again. Um, I'll pay somebody to do it next time. It was absolutely awful, uh, but it turned out great. Uh, so we're back to stock now, um, which is, you know, I like tinted windows, but whenever they bubble up, they look awful. So right now it's looking stock. Um, I got my walnut scouring pads in here, scoured the seats. Yeah, see if it'll focus. The seats look like brand new, minus that one wear spot over there. So I don't know, the car's coming along pretty good. Um, we got the, the seat decals or stickers, as my friend calls it, and they look really great. I like them. Um, backside, you can see the new brakes, uh, new rudders back here, as well as the SS emblems. Um, got new belts ordered, they're around here somewhere. I forget what they're hung up at, but uh, oh, there they are right there. Belts hung up, uh, needs a new tensioner, um, that's coming in the mail. And I'm trying to think what else. Oh, it needs a new AC compressor. So go order a rebuild kit for that, or I'll just order a brand new one. I think they're like 120 bucks, not nearly as expensive as they once were. Um, but as you can tell too, I ceramic coated the, uh, rebuffed re and ceramic coated this side of the car. I'm still gonna do the hood. Really the hood needs to have a wool pad on it. Uh, just, you know, take one more coat off of it. And, It'll look just like that. So, I mean, this car's come a long ways. Um, at least in my opinion, it has. It's gone from, you know, a piece of junk sitting in somebody's yard to, you know, running, driving, functional car. Uh, probably order some exhaust for it here pretty soon. Uh, I'm gonna stick to the, uh, the plan here this time and, and try to drive this car probably through spring, summertime, and then probably flip it for something else. Uh, maybe looking to get back into a vet uh, maybe Z28 Camaro, like originally. Um, that, and then, yeah, I've got a third option on the table. Um, if, if I can look at a Carl Blackbird, I may go ahead and splurge for that. Uh, it'd be one to keep. Uh, I really think those cars are gonna go up in value if I can find one. Uh, it, it's gotta be reasonably priced also, which that's, that's kind of a tough ass. That or a Burger Camaro, Dick Harrell Camaro, or a, um, God, what's the other one? Uh, I can't remember what the other manufacturer is right now that made similar to this. If I can get them for a reasonable price, might do that. And then also um, second gen. So I guess there's uh, four options on the list, but the second gen's really gotta be straight. Don't know if I really wanna do another, you know, real huge project, you know, pulling fenders off and rebuilding an entire car. Uh, but as you can see here, back when it was a little bit dirty, I did get all the tin off of here. This was absolutely awful. The only way to get the tin off the car is really to use some aircraft stripper uh, for the back of it. And, uh, you know, and even then it just, it won't just fall off. It, you have to scrape it off um, because it's been on there so long. Now, if you get a car that's only had it on there for maybe two or three years, you might get lucky, it might just fall off. Um, but more than likely, um, you know, if it's been on there for five or more years, then it's gonna be a little bit tougher. But same thing here. I uh, got most, got all the tin off of here. Um, I'm gonna pull this door panel off, straighten it back out. It's off of the track, not the window, but the door panel is supposed to curve a little bit. It's got a little hinge right there. It's supposed to sit on. Whoever put it on there last, it put it on there right. So I'll pull that off and rehang it. It'll be good there. Uh, but yeah, there's really not that much left to do. Um, still trying to hunt one of these down in the junkyard and hunt a dash pad down in the junkyard. Um, we'll get that AC system straightened out. That compressor is pretty easy to fix. Uh, you know, 120 bucks, have cold air. Um, you know, I'm going to redo the inside of the, the fender wells 
Um, it seems like the rubbering or the rubber stuff on the inside has gotten hard, so you hear all the rocks hitting it and everything. So I'm gonna re-insulate the rubber on the inside, uh, do the exhaust, do the compressor, and we'll also do, we might put an intake on it, and then we will call it a day. Uh, this car will be done. Um, I don't think I'm gonna pay somebody to retint the windows on this car. It looks pretty nice as it is. Uh, the only other thing I'm probably gonna splurge on is putting some new headlights in it. I know these cleaned up pretty well, uh, but I really think that if I put a set of brand new headlights in this car, this car would, it, it would really pop. Um, it'd look really, really nice. And uh, that's what we're going for. So uh, that's probably definitely gonna happen. Um, just trying to do it here and there without breaking the bank. And, you know, I, I think probably, you know, April, this thing will be finished up and, and ready to go to some cars and coffee. And then uh, I'll probably put it on its way and look for the next ride. But anyways, just want to give you guys an update. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, um, let me know and uh, have a great afternoon.